Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today, we will solve the problem that you will find on page number 298. Based on the page number 298, problem number 16 is what we are about to solve. It is important, it is vital, it is crucial, it is absolutely essential that you have the book in front of you. Without, without, without it, you will have trouble following the work. Do you understand? For two reasons. First is that I do not put down the questions verbatim. Secondly, my handwriting, I am painfully aware, is atrocious. So if you have the book in front of you, you can read the problem yourself. Here's, here's the gist of the problem. We are told, we are told that we have 3,000 penguins. We have a, so it says, suppose the height, it says, suppose the height of a population Suppose the height of a population of 3,000 penguins are approximately normally distributed. So we are told that we are dealing with a normal distribution with a mean of 65 centimeter and a standard deviation of 5 centimeter. The question simply is, approximately how many penguins we expect to find whose height will lie between 65 centimeter and 75 centimeter? Let's find out, shall we? Between 65 and 75 centimeter. We need the room, so just remember between 65 and 75 what we're looking for. Part A is what we're doing here. So here's your normal distribution. Here is the mean. This is this this represents the mean, which in this case is 65 centimeter. If we go one standard deviation this way and one standard deviation this way, we are at since since the standard deviation is 5 cm, we are at 70 and 60. We are interested in the height of, I myself forgot what we were looking for, between 65 and 75. Oh, 65 is right here. This is 70, we need to go one more standard deviation. If we go one more standard deviation this way, this is your 75, and that's what we want. We want, we want to be between 65 and 75. We want to be between these two points right here. Well, you have to you have to know the, you have to know the layout of the standard deviation. It is important that you know this thing. You, you are expected to know that. You have to understand that from here to here it captures 68 percent of the population. If it captures 68 percent of the population, then from the mean to one standard deviation above it captures 34 percent of the population. If you go one more standard deviation either directions, we capture another 14 percent of the population on the 14% of the population. We don't need to do all this thing for this problem. We're just doing it for learning purposes. So 68 plus 14 plus 15, 14, 14 plus 14 is 28. Listen carefully. 14 plus 14 is 28. 68 plus 30 would have been 98, but it's going to be 96, giving us the remainder of 4%, which means this tail has 2% of the population, and this tail has 2% of the population. But we don't need any of this thing. We are looking for how many penguins are going to fall in this area right here. From 65, from 65 to 75 right here. Well, it's very simple. It's going to be 34 percent of 34 percent of penguins in this distribution. In this in this distribution, these these 3,000 penguins that we're dealing with, who happen to have a mean mean height of 65 centimeter and a standard deviation of 5 centimeters, given these facts, we know that approximately 34% of the penguin will have a height between 65 and 70, and under 14% will have a height between 70 and 75. Hence, 34 plus 14, 34, 34 plus 14 is 48% of, of penguins, 48% will lie, will lie between 65 and 75. 65 and 75. All we have to do is find out 48% of 3,000 and we are done. 48% of 3,000 is very straightforward. 48 times 3, 8 3 is a 24, 4, carry 2, 4 3 is a 12 plus 2 is 14. So there we go. 1440. 1440 
happens to be, 1440 happens to be 48 percent of 3000. So the answer is about 1440 penguins, about 1400 penguin will have a height between 65 and 75 centimeter. Let's do part B, shall we? Let's do part B. And you understand that when I do it out like this on the blackboard, 48 times 3, that's for your benefit. Something simple as 48 times 3, there is no reason, there is no reason why you should have to reach for calculator. There is no reason why you should, why you should even have to reach for pencil. It's very simple. 48 times 3 is very simple to do it out. We know 50 times 3. Obviously, you know what 50 times 3 is. 50 times 3 is 150. Well, I don't need 50 threes. I only need 48 threes. Don't give me too many. Don't give me 50 threes. That's too many threes. I don't want that many threes. I only want 48 threes. Well, take away two threes. 150 minus 6 is obviously 144. Let's take a zero. The answer is 1440. Let's do part B. Let's do part B. Part B is telling us what are the odds what are the odds that a penguin chosen at random penguin chosen at random will have a height will have a height of less than less than 60 well again if you like you can look at the look at the, look at the distribution here here is our mean this is our mean this is one standard deviation here which captures 68 percent of the population. If we go one more standard deviation, we're going to capture around a 14 percent. We go one standard deviation this way, we're going to capture around a 14 percent. And then, of course, we have 2 percent here and 2 percent there. It's very simple, very straightforward. What is the question asking? What are the odds that the penguin chosen at, chosen at random will have a height of less than 60? How do we write all those things in the language of uh, statistics? In the language of statistics, this is how this is how it's written. What are, what are the odds, the same as saying probability, and P stands for probability. What's the probability that the height of a ren that a height, that a penguin chosen at random will have a height of less than 60? Height of less than 60, this is what we're looking for, height of less than 60. This is what we're looking for. And this thing, when it's read in English language, this is how we read it, what's the probability, what's the probability, or what are the odds that a penguin chosen at random will have a height of less than 60. That a penguin chosen at random will have a height, there you go, less than 60. Where does 60 fall here? Our mean was 65. Oh, the mean is 65 right here. Well, this is 60. Right here is 60. Well, we have, this is very, sim very simple, very straightforward. If this is 60, if this is 60 and this is 65, what are the odds that, that the height is going to be below 60? This is, this is 60 right now. The odds are 14 plus 2, 16 percent. The answer is, 16% are the odds. In other words, in this population, only 16% of the penguin would have a height of below 60. And therefore, if you choose one penguin at random, the odds are 16%. That that particular penguin that you chose will have a height of less than 60. How, why 16%? Well, 14% of the penguin are going to lie between 60 and 55. And anything. And only two percent of only two percent of the penguin will have a height of less than fifty-five. Less than fifty-five. And similarly, if you were to go this direction, one standard deviation from here you could reach seventy, another standard deviation you reach seventy-five. So only two percent of the penguin will lie in the top two percentile, which is well, in other words, only two percent of the penguin will have a height of more than seventy-five centimeter. And similarly, only two percent of the penguin will have a height of less than fifty-five centimeter, because the distribution is symmetric. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.